my last video for today welcome back to my channel so my last video was about um words of encouragement and i just want to elaborate on that a little bit um sometimes i get off topic i'm sorry um so that's why i'm making this video again um well not again but kind of elaborating like i said um so make heaven that's what our fight is for like we're fighting already on this earth but the biggest fight is making heaven you know we think about making on earth like taking care of ourselves our teeth our hair our bodies you know so we can live long and healthy lives and you got to think about heaven you know you got to do right you got to do good you know you got to like now with all these different things going on and you know, you got to be questioning everything, you know. You don't want to take the mark of the beast. And it's not going to be where you're going to be tricked, you know, if you're knowledgeable. But think about the people who don't know the Bible or believe in the Bible or God or Jesus. They're not going to know what to look for. So that's why a lot of people will be taking the mark. And then even the elect will be taking the mark. So fight for heaven. Not just earth, fight for heaven, survive to make it to heaven. Meaning, if you're still here and you're not already passed away, you know. And even the ones, you know, that don't know about this, like, heaven is the dream. It's not a goal, it's a dream, okay? My dream is to go to America Got Talent next year. Unless they make the Jabiru. <laughs> mandatory. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, if they make it mandatory, then, you know. But that's my second dream. My first dream is heaven, okay? <laughs> um, so, make heaven. Like, you know how people go to the war, like I said in my last video. People go to the war to fight for a country. We're on earth to fight. To be protected while the soldiers and the military fight for our country, you know. But we're still here fighting for our lives and survival and going through trials and tribulations and spiritual. I said welfare, where warfare, <laughs> spiritual warfare. I just learned about that this year. So excuse me on that matter of not knowing that. You live and learn um, a lot of things. I know, you know godly people you don't have to be a christian just godly people get attacked or good people get attacked more than bad people and bad things happen to good people because the world became sinful and we have to deal with it you know it's not god's fault it's not jesus fault okay so people who blame him you know but um anyways we're here to fight to make it on earth in heaven okay and a lot of people are into this world, which I have never been into this world and still never will be into this world. They care about clothes. They care about jewelry. Like, I don't care. Like, this is literally the only jewelry piece I have. Okay? People care about, you know, just cars and, you know, money. It's like, you know, people don't care about just art, nature, you know, just natural things things that matter okay things that matter so fight for heaven fight to make it to heaven that should be your dream that should be your focus and your attention to and where you want to go and if you don't know about it learn about it teach yourself about it go to sunday school even as an adult go to church you don't have to go to church you can do all of this in your home you know I went to Sunday school and whatnot when I was a kid and until I was a teenager in high school so just know that heaven is going to be so amazing because when you just get tearful and just been through so much and you still going through so much and you can't win for nothing <laughs> And again, you're being attacked by just, not just people, you're being attacked by people, things that, you know, it's just a lot of things. Just, I always think about heaven and know that this is all going to be worth it. Because sometimes it's like, what, is this really worth it? You know, like sometimes like, 
things get hard, a lot of things are rising, you know, the pandemic and everything is going up, yet the minimum wage isn't going up, you just like, oh my goodness, like, you know, sometimes you just get so emotional and overwhelmed and over burnt out. And you just be like, oh my goodness, this life as an adult, as a kid, for kids and children is so hard. So when you think about having, you know that there's not just a purpose in your life. Because I have a purpose in my life with children and publishing and dancing and, you know, and God and speaking the truth and telling people about them. But just remember having, when things get really bad, what we're sticking it out for is heaven. And knowing that soon we won't have to deal with nothing. Like, I can't even, I can't even feel it right now. Like, you can just imagine it, but you can't feel it because we're not there yet. It's like, can we go right now, please? Pretty please? Like, I want to back like a kid. Like, I'll give you a trillion dollars. <laughs> I give you my soul and my heart to go to heaven. So make sure you make it. God bless.